I'm going to show the correct way to pressure test an engine for forced induction application. If you do not pressure test your engine, there is a major risk of lost power and engine damage. Disconnect any crankcase. This hose is the wide open throttle PCV tube, which doubles as a crankcase vent. This hose is open to and leads directly to the crankcase. All factory turbo engines will have a tube like this, which is why we are stopping to discuss its existence. During the pressure test, we will be pressurizing the compressor cover, and notice this tube is continuous with the compressor cover, so it must be disconnected before the pressure test. Otherwise, you will pressurize the crankcase, which could result with blown out seals from the engine. In some vehicles it will be easier to leave the intake tube attached to the compressor cover and simply remove the air filter and test from where the air filter was. That is why I stopped to discuss the crankcase breather hose previously because if you decide to pressure test from this air filter location you will need to remove that hose and plug the hole or it will pressurize the crankcase. So during the pressure test, we noticed that the uh, bolt that I had been using to block this block this uh, vacuum hose I'm not using, it blew out. Freaking bolt blew out. And I had no idea. And it was just leaking a gigantic, massive boost leak through here. That's why we do this. So this is 0.6 bar, approximately 8 PSI. So far, 9 PSI. Uh, going into the turbo is approximately 16, 17 PSI. So I've got 17 going in and around 8 or 9 coming out of the, in the intake manifold. And as you can hear, deathly silence. And this is what you want. And we come over here to the PCV valve. Notice I've got the PCV valve popped. You just want to make sure that there is nothing coming out of this. And actually, I can feel a little tiny bit. And you're going to. All PCV valves leak some. And this is a double. There's a Supra PCV valve here. And a stock Chevrolet PCV valve here. And even with the two PCV valves together, it still has a little tiny bit of leak. But that's okay. That little tiny bit is not is negligible. Notice there's no leaking here. The bolt, the bolt is back in the tube. None of the clamps are leaking, and now we're going to crank up the boost. All right, crank it up. Crank it up a little more. Let's do it. Go to, keep going. I got nine pounds. Ten. It's going up. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. We're going to take it to about seventeen. Eighteen, because that's more boost than I'll probably run. That's 14 pounds boost. Keep going. What do you got over there? 20. 20 on the gauge over there and 14 over here. Keep going. 14 and a half. Yeah, hold it there for a sec. 15. 15 one bar boost. Ladies and gentlemen, one bar. 1.1. 1 .1. Yeah, that's good. That's more boost than I'm probably going to run for a long time. That's about 16, 17, 18 pounds in the intake manifold. 18 pounds here, and you got how much? 25. 25 pounds going into the turbo. And approximately, I'm trying to get the camera to see it. Yeah, boost gauge is maxed, just about maxed. Oh, it's got more. One point, yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. All right, shut it down, we're good. This thing is deathly silence nothing come out of the back of the cover this is a point of leak nothing coming out of the uh, couplers obviously going into the intercooler we would have heard it at 20 pounds of boost the thing all the way to 20 psi intake manifold didn't explode watch your face watch your eyes check the gauge again we're still sitting at 
10 pounds, 9 pounds, 8, 8, eight pounds, 7, yeah, we're good, it's good. So I had a boost leak, had a little boost leak. I knew it had a leak, I just need to find it. Pressure test, absolutely necessary. Do not overlook. Take a minute to discuss PCV, the importance of PCV. PCV valves are check valves, just like the check valve on a brake booster. They are varying in quality. Some are better than others. In my experience, naturally aspirated engines do not have OEM PCV valves worthy of forced induction. So if you are adding forced induction to a natural aspirated engine, you will want to upgrade to a PCV valve from a forced induction engine. That is why I've included the 1995-98 Twin Turbo Supra PCV valve in my setup. The OEM Chevrolet check valve was leaking under boost. Even the brand new one out of the box was not sufficient. My engine has over 200,000 miles, somewhere between six and 700 brake horsepower. I drive it every day in traffic. It's a daily driver. I've put over 40,000 miles on it myself in the last four years, and it's never smoke, smoked or dripped any oil. And the main reason my engine does not leak or smoke any oil is because of PCV. Without the PCV system, an engine will begin to blow oil from the baffle system and leak from the engine oil seals and it will start to smoke and smell like oil is burning, especially during certain situations like wide open throttle or decelerate is it the decelerate deceleration. It takes several thousands, perhaps tens of thousands of miles for the symptoms to develop. The effects sort of build up over time, which is why few people realize the importance of PCV. They will remove it and then notice the engine still seems to run fine and then forget all about it. So you must run some form of PCV on an engine. If you expect it to remain leak and smoke free for hundreds of thousands of miles, PCV, in my opinion, is a high performance secret as many are unaware of the effects of crankcase pressure, especially at wide open throttle. In the future, I hope to make a special video specific for PCV to discuss more fully, but for now, this is a quick summary. Thank you.